degree. Okay, I've loosened the bolt a little bit but that holds the leeboard to the leeboard mount so I can show you the order of washers. You got the knob head, metal washer, rubber washer, leeboard shaft. Then there's a nylon washer with teeth on it that grab the shaft. The only purpose of that nylon washer is so you could take this apart and the leeboard bolts would be held in the hole. That nylon washer would keep the bolt from falling out and make it unlikely that you would lose your leeboard bolts during storage or transporting. If that's uh, not what you want to do, you want to take your leeboard bolts out, then you can get rid of that nylon washer. Its only purpose is to keep the leeboard bolts in the hole when you have unscrewed it from the leeboard mount. I would tend to just keep it together like this for ease of assembly because this will fit in the bag just the way it is. Now the sail. You see that the sail folds up with the metal parts and the sail all together. So that it's very quick and easy to unfold it and be on your way. The metal parts, the metal tubes, which are called spars, are in three sections. Those are held together by elastic cord and you just feel for the joints in the sleeves of the sail and guide them together. See this corner string, you feed it into the front hole of this little jam cleat, pops out the top side, put a little tension on it, and force it down into the teeth and it's held. No knots to tie, it's automatic. Of course, you don't have to fold the sail all the way up if you've got a van or a station wagon, a pickup truck, or roof racks, and you want to just keep the spars assembled and furl the sail around the full-length spars, you could transport it and store it that way. But with that folding feature, it means you can take it on an airplane, the whole kit fits into bag that's about like a golf bag. Okay, the sail goes just to the left of the master as you're looking forward. By putting it to the left, you'll have this jam pleat on top, this rope fitting sticking up. That's all the way it should be. If you put it on the right side, then this cord would be having to find its way around the boom and would be pulled too tight. So before we put the mast up, we're going to put the halyard in. The halyard is the rope that raises and lowers the sail. Thread the halyard. Through this eye at the top of the mast. Then we 
raise the sail by pulling down on the halyard. Think about the wind direction before you raise the sail. If I had somebody standing right there, and the wind's coming from this side, if I raise the sail, the wind's going to take it out that way, and hit that person in the mouth. I don't want that. So a little forethought when you're raising a sail as to where the sail's going to go and who it might hit. You take the end of the halyard and put it through one of the ring nuts that holds the mast step to the bowsprit. Now your choice. You could stop right there, take a bite, and tie a double half hitch right there at the ring nut, or you can use that almost like a pulley and come back to the crossbar tie it off here. That way it'll be easier for your passenger to raise and lower the sail for you if that's what you need at some point. I generally raise the sail on the beach and lower it on the beach and don't mess with it when I'm out on the water so that's not a factor but your situation might be different. So there's the double half hitch on a bite. I would use the same knot here if I was doing it. So that's the rigging of the boat. That's complete. Uh, you can make it even quicker by things like leaving these short straps in the U-bolts so that you don't have to thread them through. You can leave this short strap. Remember, I had a little difficulty with that one. You can leave this short strap in the hole at the tip of the bowsprit and not have to uh, thread that through each time. Uh, and same thing on the rear assembly. You could leave the straps in the U-bolt in the hole at the tip of the uh, right angle piece extension. So there you have it. I'm Jim Luckett. My partner Rob is behind the camera. We are at sailboatstogo.com. Uh, we'd be happy to talk with you about uh, any questions you might have, any accessories you might be interested in. Uh, and uh, my email is sailboats to go dot, is jim at sailboats to go dot com. Rob is motioning to me that I've forgotten one very important part of the assembly. And these are your stabilizer floats. See, the stabilizer floats slip right in here. And lock in place the same way with a spring button. You want to have them about that much down. That'll give you a more stable ride in the uh, razor light. to do the downhaul. The downhaul is an optional additional line that helps to stabilize the mast and boom by doing making a diagonal pull from the very tip of the boom down to the mast step. I've rigged the, uh, the sheet here to the end of the boom. That's the way I like to sail it. Gives me a two to one, gives me a maximum mechanical advantage because I'm pulling on the end of the lever. The other way to put it is here at the middle of the boom at the front of this cutout. You could do that, still do it as a direct line from there to your hand, or you can put a strap loop 
through the rope fitting. So this rope fitting would be up here at the middle of the boom. This strap would be going through it. And you would run the line from the D-ring on the kayak through the strap loop and from there to your hand. And that way you'd get to one advantage. So I secure one end of the sheet to a D-ring. I put this rope fitting here at the middle of the boom. I put that strap through the rope fitting. And now the sheet line uses the strap like it was a pulley. And it slides through there. And now I'm getting two to one mechanical advantage even though I'm sheeting from the middle of the boom. So your choice, but with the kayak being so nice and long, I like it back here. And the disadvantage of a line going to the middle of the sail is it may uh, bother your passenger. So there you have it. Jim from sailboatstogo.com. My email is jim at sailboatstogo.com. You're welcome to email us if you have any questions. Thank you for viewing this video.